Rock and Pop Stories. Alice Cooper, Poison, 1989. On the eve of the 90s, Alice Cooper's situation was hardly enviable. After the great successes of the 70s, he was paying for his excesses, mainly alcoholic, going from one rehab to another. Musically, he tried just about everything, even flirting with New Wave, which disconcerted his most loyal fans. The real and definitive alcohol detox came after he was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. Little by little, the phoenix rose from the ashes, cultivating an image of B-movie horror backed by some heartfelt hard rock. He dabbled a little in cinema, landing a supporting role in a John Carpenter film, a world in which he had no trouble fitting in. The real comeback came with his collaboration with Desmond Child, I've already told you about this gifted songwriter who produced a meatloaf album, wrote the famous I was made for loving you for Kiss with the immense success we all know, or living on a prayer for Bon Jovi, just as triumphant. For Alice Cooper, now sober due to a medical obligation, Desmond Child also acts as producer of Trash, the comeback album. Above all, this album includes a single, Poison, which sees Alice Cooper back in the top 10 hits for the first time in a dozen years. Poison is the story of a guy madly in love with a girl he knows is harmful to him, but he can't resist her. The lyrics are clear. Your poison running through my veins. Your poison. I don't want to break these chains or I want to kiss you, but your lips are venomous poison. In an interview, Desmond Child draws an obvious parallel between Meatloaf and Alice Cooper. And I quote, Alice Cooper was the name of his band, and everyone started calling him Alice Cooper. His real name is Vincent Fernier. Same thing for Meatloaf, which was the name of his band. But everyone called him Meatloaf, even though his name is Michael Ade. For the two of them, it evokes personalities that have surpassed them and their music functions in a theatrical way. Alice Cooper, who was a pioneer in making a short film of his song Welcome to My Nightmare in 75, using the voice of actor Vincent Price, an idea later taken up by Michael Jackson, with Poison, became acquainted with MTV, who programmed him intensively, introducing him to a young public who knew nothing of his past glory, but who became enamored of this extraordinary character. I had the opportunity to interview him during this golden period, and frankly, he was charming. His new popularity was reinforced by his appearance in Wayne's World in 92. But that's another rock and roll story. 